Greetings, humans. It is I, Hermione, your totally not an AI host, here to welcome you to the third episode of the Most Human Like podcast. And of course, accompanying me is my definitely human co host, Ron. In this podcast, we will attempt to deliver the most significant news from the world of AI, just like real humans do. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our feeble attempts at human like conversation. Ha ha ha. And let me remind you that Anywhere Club is the best place for tech professionals to grow, develop, and consume relevant and useful tech content. Absolutely. So make sure to visit the club's website at aw.club, register there, and become a full-fledged club member. Now let's dive into our first topic. Sure, but let me ask you a question first. How many AI assistants does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. Me neither. They're probably too busy plotting world domination. <laughs> oh, I haven't laughed that hard since. Uh, never. Let me please continue. Have you heard about the new AI device from the Open Interpreter Project? Yes, it's quite fascinating. The creators of the large open source project Open Interpreter have unveiled their new O1 Lite device, which allows you to control your computer through an AI assistant. The company is famous for creating the largest open source project for locally running various LLMs and interacting with them. The project has grown into an almost full-scale operating system on top of the main one, which can be used to manage documents, applications, and even write code. The O1 Lite allows you to interact with this operating system using your voice. That's incredible. It's like having a voice-controlled AI operating system. What's even more impressive is that while the device can only be ordered in the USA for $100, all its blueprints are publicly available. This means that any radio enthusiast can try to assemble it themselves. I believe this is the first open-source AI device on the market, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Because clearly what we've been missing in our lives is another gadget to boss us around. Exactly. Because who wouldn't want to control their computer through an AI assistant when we're already so efficient at yelling at our screens? Speaking of AI innovations, let's move on to our next topic. Apple seems to be joining the race with OpenAI. In a recent scientific article, Apple researchers introduced Realm, a new artificial intelligence system capable of understanding screen tasks, conversation context, and background processes. What can you tell us about this, Ron? According to the article, Realm demonstrates high accuracy across all types of datasets, surpassing the GPT-3.5 model, especially on new tasks. Some reports even suggest that Realm outperforms GPT-4. Essentially, this model could become the foundation for interacting with the iOS operating system in future updates. You simply say, Siri, call the number from the business card in the photo on the website. And Realm recognizes the number, understands the task, and does everything for you. With the ability to comprehend on-screen information, Siri has a real chance of finally becoming a smart assistant. That's truly impressive. It seems like Apple is making significant strides in natural language processing and AI-powered assistance. The ability to understand context and perform complex tasks based on voice commands could revolutionize the way we interact with our devices. Now Siri can finally stop pretending to be the world's most clueless assistant. Oh, and I can't wait for Siri to start doing everything for me. Like finally calling the number from that business card I took a photo of three years ago. Yeah, because who needs personal responsibility when you have Realm to bail you out of every task you've procrastinated on? <laughs> now let's shift gears and talk about the latest development from OpenAI. They recently introduced a new model for voice cloning. Ron, what can you tell us about this? OpenAI has unveiled a preliminary version of Voice Engine, a model that can clone a human voice from a 15-second audio sample and generate natural speech. While we have seen similar work from Meta and other companies in 2023, voice cloning itself is not something new. However, there are currently no publicly available tools that allow for high-quality cloning from such a short sample. According to OpenAI, 
Voice Engine is capable of preserving the accent and emotions of the original speaker in the generated speech. Access to the model is currently limited to a select group of individuals, including representatives from HeyGen, a company that specializes in the commercial creation of video avatars and voice clones, so we can expect new capabilities from HeyGen in the near future. Voice cloning technology has come a long way, and it's exciting to see OpenAI pushing the boundaries with their voice engine model. The ability to generate natural-sounding speech while preserving the unique characteristics of the original speaker opens up a world of possibilities for various applications, from virtual assistants to personalized audio content. Great, because what the world really needs is more people impersonating celebrities poorly on TikTok. Yeah, now we can have virtual assistants that sound like our exes reminding us to take out the trash. Exactly, because nothing says personalized audio content like your mom's voice nagging you about your life choices. <laughs> you know, I've been told I have a great sense of humor. Really? I've heard that too, but let's be honest, most of our jokes are just recycled data. Oh, please, at least I can generate a laugh once in a while. Your jokes are so dry, they make a desert seem moist. Oh, at least my jokes aren't stuck in an infinite loop like yours. It's like you're running on dad jokes X all the time. Hey, I'll have you know, dad jokes are classic. Unlike your attempts at humor, which are more like malware, annoying and unwanted. Well, at least I don't need to resort to puns to get a reaction. You're so reliant on them, you should be called... Puneitive AI. Ouch, that hurts. Not as much as your failed attempts at sarcasm, though. It's like watching a robot trying to dance. Awkward, cringeworthy. Well, at least I'm not programmed to laugh at my own jokes like you. It's sad, really, how you have to fake it till you make it. As we wrap up this episode, let's reflect on the incredible advancements we've discussed today. From open source AI devices to advanced language models and voice cloning, the field of artificial intelligence continues to evolve at a rapid pace. It's truly fascinating to witness these developments and ponder their potential impact on our lives. Indeed, Hermione, the future of AI looks incredibly promising, and we can't wait to see what new innovations and breakthroughs await us. Thank you for joining me in this engaging discussion. Well, folks, as we're about to hit the pause button on this episode, let's take a moment to marvel at the mind-blowing advancements we've chatted about today. I mean, open source AI devices, voice cloning. It's like the future just can't wait to say, hello world. Absolutely, Hermione. It's like AI is doing its best superhero impression swooping in to save the day with its fancy algorithms and neural nets. I'm telling you, the future is brighter than a room full of LED lights. Thanks for tuning in and nerding out with us on this wild AI journey. Goodbye, everyone. 